Welcome to Human Fungus Among Us 101. In today's class, we will be sharing personal stories on our own experiences with fungus. Carly, would you like to go first? Carly, please pay attention. and welcome back to the beauty bar. As you can tell from the title, today I'm going to show you how to get ready for college. You're getting ready with me. As you can tell from the beginning, that is the more realistic way I think that most people get ready for college, including myself when I was in college. But from this point on, I'm gonna be showing you quick and easy ways to get ready for the mornings when you feel like wearing makeup and you actually have time to put on makeup. I have some multi-purpose versatile products that will help you so you don't have a slew of makeup sitting all around when you are in a rush. So if you guys would like to see a few of these tricks and looks, keep watching. I'm first going to prime my skin. I have the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer and the Mali Perfect Prep Primer. So these two, they both kind of have the same silicone-y feel, the baby skin more than this one. I'm going to use the baby skin one because college books are expensive and so is that Mali primer. So we're going to try to save as much money as we can. So I just put, whoa, way too much of that. I'm going to wipe some off on my fingertips and I'm just going to rub it all over my face. Next I'm going to do apply foundation. I'm going to use... Another product from the drugstore, the Maybelline, or, ooh, sorry, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This one's a little dark for me, and I'm not self-tanned, so I'm going to mix it with my Clinique Moisturizer. I have the foundation and moisturizer right there, so I'm just going to mix them together with my finger and then dot it all over my face. I'm going to use this Real Techniques blending sponge. I ran it under the faucet and run all the water so it's really poofy and bouncy now. And I'm just going to start blending in the foundation. So now that I have the foundation blended all over my face, I'm going to take concealer. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer. And I'm going to use the same sponge to blend it in. That way it saves time. You're not reaching for yet another product. So I'm just going to blend that in and then also take the concealer up on my lids. This can act as a primer and just conceal any veins or redness that you have if you don't want to wear eyeshadow. I'm going to go in with my Cover FX setting powder. This is a little pricey, I just wanted to try something new, but before this I had the NYX translucent setting powder and it's amazing. I, I would buy that over and over again. So once this is gone, I'll go back to that. I'm going to bronze up the skin. If you have time, go ahead with this step. I'm using the Milani Baked Bronzer in Bellissimo Bronze. Just looks like this. I'm not going to carve out or chisel my cheekbones or contour or anything. I'm just going to use this to warm up my skin a little bit. So... I'm just going to go on with this angled fluffy brush right here and just buff this to the hollows of my cheekbones and all along the edges of the face so up along the hairline and down the temples just to bring back some life to your face so you're not just one flat color then to blend out any choppy spots i'm going to use this dual fiber brush and just blend it into my skin so it looks more natural Okay, so I just applied two coats of mascara on my lashes. I used the Power Volume Collagen Mascara from L'Oreal. This is my absolute favorite. I never put on mascara before I do any kind of eyeshadow, but I'm going to try a few different looks, and I wanted to have mascara on for each one for you. First, I'm just going to highlight my inner tear duct area because you can do this and not wear any eyeshadow, and it just brightens up your eyes a lot. You can also absolutely just wear mascara. Often, I just wear mascara when I'm in a hurry, so you can do that too, but if you want to add eyeshadow, these are some nice options. I have three colors here that would work really nicely. First is Aloha from NYX. It's this really pretty pale shimmery shadow. So let me just swatch that for you. 
That is what that one looks like. That will look really pretty either all over the lid or just as a highlight. Next, I have a Pearl Man Ultra Pearl Mania pigment from NYX. And I took the sticker off the back of this and it had the name on it. So fail, but I will try to find it for you and then I can link it down below. But this is what this one looks like. It's a really just pretty white shimmery color. And this one looks really nice as a highlight also. So that is what that one looks like. And then this last color I know I've talked about on my channel a lot. This is Kitten from Stila. This is one of my all-time favorite shadows. This can work as an eyeshadow, a highlight, inner tear duct area highlight. You can use it as shimmer on your collarbone, your shoulders, on your body, whatever. This color is so pretty and so versatile. This is my second pot of this color. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful, light, light kind of golden champagne color. And I will put that in the back of my hand. That is Kitten right there. So it's so pretty and I think it looks good on everyone. I absolutely love this color. So since I'm raving about it so much, I'm going to use this on my inner corner. I'm just going to take this tiny little brush right here and put it in the inner tear duct area of my eyes. You can already see from this eye to this eye how this just looks more open and awake. So this is such an easy thing to do when you're in a hurry and you just want a little boost since you didn't get enough sleep last night. So this is what it looks like with just the inner corner highlight. Beautiful. I love it. I think it's so easy. Now if you want to up the ante just a little bit, you can add this all over the eyes and then pop it out. And then pop it down in the inner corners. Or I am going to add, this is Cafe Olay from Jessie's Girl. This is a really, really pretty pigment. So this on the end, this right here is Cafe Olay. So it's a really pretty, super light, bronzy, shimmery color. Shimmery shadows are so easy to work with because they are very, very forgiving. There's not really a lot of blending required. You can just pack it all over your lid and call it a day. It looks gorgeous just on its own. So this is the Cafe Olay shadow packed all over my lid. It adds so much to your eyes and the full look of your face and it takes less than a minute. If you want to take it a step further, I'm going to go back with the kitten shadow and just put a teeny tiny bit right on the highest point of my brow, so right under that arch. I put mascara on the lower lashes just to finish off the eyes and they are complete. That was quick and easy and there's different options. You can mix and match whatever you want. Pick your favorite colors. Now it's on to brows. Now my brows, I don't really have a ton of bald spots. I like the shape and to me, they're, I have fuller brows so I don't feel like there's a ton to fill in. So if I'm in a hurry and I don't feel like doing it or I don't have time, I have this product that I've been using is the NYX proof it eyebrow primer it's tinted just a little bit sets your brows and keeps them in place for blush i have two from the drugstore that i really really like that are nice and affordable the first one is luminoso from milani it's a baked blush it's a really pretty glowy peach color the next one is fox in a box from hard candy this is in the color spicy and sweet so this is what it looks like right here they are all matte colors so I think this gives a really pretty pinky mauve color. Depends on which colors you use. I like to swirl them all together. Now for highlight, I'm just going to go right back to the Stila Kitten color. This is so pretty and you have it sitting out already that you use on your eyes. So it just saves so much time. On my cheekbones, go upward a little bit. See that pretty highlight? Oh, I love it. I'm going to just put this a little bit on the tip of my nose. Tap off most of the product and just throw it up here on my forehead and right above my brows and then a little bit on my chin. Now onto lips. I'm just first going to apply a little bit of Lip Smackers Watermelon because my lips are super dry. So I think I am actually going to wear this Milani one because I love this one. Now for the last step, I'm going to apply Fix Plus on my face. This will just kind of set the powders into the skin to make them not just sitting on top of your face. It feels so good to me. It feels super refreshing. I would definitely recommend putting one of these in your backpack or your purse or anything that you're carrying with you all day. They have smaller sizes too. I got it in my mouth. 
So that completes my back to college makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this and it helped you out, gave you some ideas and inspiration for when you do feel like putting on makeup before class or before wherever you're going, just something quick and easy to get you out the door. And if you don't have time and if you don't feel like doing any of this, that is okay. Just refer back to the first about minute of this video because that is really what I did for most of the time that I'm to school. That's totally fine. And did you notice I was wearing the same shirt that I woke up in to school? That's okay. So whatever you decide to do, however you get ready, I hope that you have an amazing, fantastic school year. You learn a lot and you meet a lot of friends and you stay safe and you get enough sleep. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.